Hello guys, it's Rad and welcome to Rad Kutara. And uh, this is going to be a weekly tarot reading for Capricorn, um, Moon, Capricorn Rising and Capricorn Sun, uh, February 2000 and uh, February 11th to February 17th, 2019. So that being said, uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you once again, guys, that that is a general reading for Capricorn uh, star sign. And for that reason, it's going to resonate in a, in a different way with uh, every single different uh, Capricorns. And uh, also, for the month of uh, February, I have significantly reduced my prices so I can make myself and my services more accessible uh, for the people we need, especially financial need. Uh, so uh, if you tried before to have a reading with me, but you found the previous pricing rather unaccessible for your budget, have a look now at uh, my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And probably you are going to find the new pricings uh, attractive. So that being said, um, going to the tarot spread the first card that we do have for you capricorns that is going to be uh the chariot card which is the topic of your week followed by the second card which is uh the negative approach that you can take toward the situation that is going to be the ace of pentacles third card that we do have that is going to be the positive approach you can take toward the situation toward the topic here uh, we have the King of Swords and the last one uh, that is going to be the outcome of growth should you follow the advice of Tarot and this is going to be the Nine of Wands. All right, so uh, that is also going to be on an enhanced Tarot spread which means that I'm going to draw diff uh, one additional card per position. So these are the cards once again, okay? And... Uh, I may need a moment here to really gather up my thoughts because that is a um, a tough one, really. Um, hmm, okay. It, um, it, it does uh, have a, a very thin line in between uh, the, the, the very topic and as well the negative approach toward the situation. I mean, there is a, a huge margin of, um, of error. All in all, uh, the week uh, presents itself as you are going to uh, have kind of like have the luck of the hard work and um, you will have major achievement and as well uh, wish fulfilled. So that is uh, here displayed by the Chariot card. So the Chariot card does represents exactly that hardship that you're going to uh, have to do throughout the week. And as well, it does represents that this hardship is going to award you with achievement, grant achievement, or a wish fulfilled, or maybe both if the achievement matches up with the wish that you do have. The thing with the Chariot card, however, is that it does require for huge personal independence. Simply, only you can push that thing through, okay? And no help or no one can really help you with anything into uh, into that endeavor, which, oh my God, yeah, now the cards are making more and more sense as I, as I start to talk uh, about any, uh, about the singular card. Here. So uh, the the main thing with the chariot card is that you gotta push yourself to the outer limit, and uh, the achievement and the wish fulfilled can happen in this field throughout the week that uh, previously you haven't even dared to think about. Okay. Long story short, or. Um, supporting my statement with a uh, example here just so i can make the things uh, much more clearer uh there are a person that sh uh, you really like okay but a couple of days ago 
um, you haven't even dared to think that you do have future together. Well, now in this week, your determination will grow, your independence will grow, you know, uh, your attempts to enthrall their attention is going to start paying off, which is the hardship that you're going to put behind. And uh, the, the, this success is going to be near. I mean, this is a, a huge step or a leap from your behalf forward to achieve a, a thing and an agenda or generally a goal of yours, which you previously thought unreachable. Now, uh, important thing uh, with the, uh, once again, uh, with the chariot card is the independence and as well to uh, show that you are a leader for yourself, that no one else can tell you what, uh, what you have to do. And uh, also determination. I'm sorry if I'm uh, sounding very scattered, but all that has its role in this uh, in this week. Your determination, your hard work, your uh, your leadership sense, or kind of like again the the independence and uh, so on and so forth. And also the readiness here to not give up because the chariot card usually. Uh, this place one efforts again and an enormous uh, resistance but because one has that determination uh, it eventually finds the way out of the difficulties it eventually finds the crack in there and how one can truly make a, a breakthrough so the chariot card here asks you to be as well tenacious and not at the last place uh, how can i place it um engaging engaging with uh, with all the means that you can collect throughout the week that are regarding this enormous effort of your behalf which uh, is going to uh, pay results and uh, one more thing i want to say uh, this ain't going to be a further development the chariot card here marks something that starts from scratch okay from the very beginning throughout that week. So it's not going to be like uh, you are developing a project or you're developing a relationship and you're facing a difficulties in, these, in that relationship or in this project. And now throughout the week, you find, um, you find a way how to overcome those difficulties. Uh, this is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a, a new, new enterprise or a new endeavor of yours that you start from scratch because previously you did not have the chance even to think uh, uh, to think about it and to even dare dream that you actually can work into that direction. The accompanied card with uh, the chariot, this is going to be uh, the judgment. And uh, what we do, that, that is really a beautiful combination here. We do have a passive enemies and... Uh, the more and more you uh, you indulge yourself with this really heroic uh, heroic goal of yours, because this is what we're talking about here, heroic goal of yours, the more and more you will start to realize that uh, it's simply that, that that is not a coincidence, okay? That is not something that it is gifted to you, but it is all a result of your of your hardship and of your determination as well, uh, your leadership abilities and the sense of independence here that's, um, or the determination that you can do it on your own without actually the support of anybody else. That is also very, very important. One more thing I wanna add with these, uh, with these cards, guys, is that if you are in a leadership position. In other words, you are a supervisor, you know, or many people are depending on you. Uh, this week is not going to be easy from a standpoint that this dependence of other people to you uh, will even grow further, okay? They will become even more dependable mm, to you than before. How big is, uh, is this going to uh, reveal itself or prove itself, excuse me, as a burden to you? Well, it will it will differentiate depending on how big dependency they have until this very moment. 
big dependency creates even bigger dependency. Small dependency, well, the increase of the dependency is going to be a trifle. So going to the next card, which is how you should not proceed toward the situation or what, should, what are the negative approach toward the situation. Well, basically uh, seeking exhilaration and uh, content and as well joy from the maneuvers that you have to incorporate throughout the week. As we said, that is going to be an, 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 an uh, enormous effort from your behalf. And enormous efforts are not associated really with content, with exhilaration, and so on and so forth. Furthermore, with the Ace of Pentacles, well, basically when that card here is, as a, as a follow-up to the previous two, it does point that uh, you will not be able to maintain uh, the uh, harmony into all of your relationships for one way or another, either because you will have to devote a lot of time into this heroic endeavor of yours, uh, either because not everybody is going to be um, willing to walk with you on that path and so on and so forth also with the ace of pentacles here in order to proceed with this endeavor maybe you will have to sacrifice some positions as well okay this is something that you have to do because the ace of pentacles other way around said asks you to proceed with your current endeavors while as thing that you should not do is to put at hold right now uh, those kind of uh, enterprises in your life or um, yeah enterprises in your life which are solid and stable okay just put them on on hold and attend everything that you do have toward this unimaginable uh, wish fulfillment of yours that it is possible to happen. But again, it will depend on your hardship. If you slack, if you give yourself constant um, excuses that you don't like to do this and uh, for example and uh, that uh, you're not finding suitable for that and so forth and, and so on and so forth uh, you're gonna miss this opportunity once again it will depend on your hardship and all of your hardship from your current um, things that you are developing has to be redirected to this new unimaginable goal okay heretofore an, an unimaginable uh, goal. While now it is pretty much within your grasp, but it will require uh, its devotion. It simply ain't gonna happen without it. The accompanied card here, uh, that is going to be uh, the King of Wands and what we do have with this combination that is uh, a passive neutral, neutrals, excuse me. So, uh, Basically, uh, this is about a, a con being convinced that uh, setting something on halt is not going to bring the matter uh, to ruin, okay? Just to give you an example uh, of it is that if you now have a, a big opening into your uh, career to take on a, a new position that beforehand you haven't even imagined of it, all right? and you have to throw everything you got in it, and you put your relationship on halt for now, that doesn't mean that your relationship is going to fall into ruin. As a matter of fact, if the partner that you are with really want, wishes you well, and they are to support you, they will not mind it, because we're talking just about one week, all right? We're not talking about lifetime. And uh, it's simply what these cards are pointing that you should maintain the positive attitude toward those things that you have left how, uh, on halt for the or on hold, excuse me, uh, for the duration of the week while you're redirecting your resources, time, efforts, energy, and so on and so forth, and independence as well, uh, for that matter, into the into the hardship that you will have to incorporate, um, and this. Um, basically, you know, endeavor dream of yours. I don't know how to say it, you know. So unimaginable, um, heretofore unimaginable uh, opportunity. 
because uh, <clears throat> it's it definitely going to require um, a lot of time and it definitely going to require a lot of uh, a lot of effort as well at some points as well uh, it will require somewhat a um a, a heroic deed okay and heroic from a standpoint that even you are going to be surprised that you are able to pull it through okay but in reality, you will find as well that you are quite, quite capable. So that leads us to the next card. What is the positive approach really toward the situation? And uh, that will be the uh, King of Swords. So first of all, uh, when we do have this card as such follow up, it means that you need to be with a very, very keen mind. Uh, and this card also consolidate on the leadership position. So basically what the card points here is that you need to show to the world and to the people around you that you are a leader to yourself. No one else is your leader, but you are your ultimate leader. From there, um, all the decisions that you have to make regarding those uh, which things into your environment to set on hold so you can redirect means okay and as well how you are to approach this um, <clears throat> heretofore unimaginable uh, endeavor has to be very intelligently placed okay so whatever it takes do not rush it but carefully analyze the situation because through careful analysis and deliberation here first thing that you are going to show to the world and to the those that are doubting in you that you uh, that you deserve their respect and you will definitely going to earn their respect. Second of all, you will convince them into your leadership abilities and uh, third of your, you are going to prove that whatever action you are to take is simply going to breed um, or is going to prove itself very, very effective. And uh, the King of Swords here, um, kind of like, gives a hint or uh, shows us that whatever difficulty you face or whatever plight you are finding yourself in, even if that plight seems unmanageable, the way out of difficulties will be revealed to you through careful analysis and uh, as well solid de deliberation upon options available that you do have because the option available is there at, uh, but it's just maybe you are way too focused on the irritating minor details and somewhat somehow you are missing the overview of the matter or vice versa it that that state will be adaptable regarding the situation but definitely if you prove yourself very calculative throughout the week uh, how you take on this uh, enormous endeavor uh, will earn the respect of others even if they hate seeing you that you are uh, that you are developing yourself into that direction and simply that you are growing and the next card that we do have or the card that the company is the king of uh, swords uh, that is the star card and what we have here is active supporters so the more and more intelligent decisions you make uh, throughout the week and the more and more the actions which are founded in those decisions are proving um, effective the more people will rally upon your uh, under your banner and from here it is where your true leadership abilities are going to start shining those people will basically swear they, their life to you if that makes any sense will pro will propose you their unconditional support because they can see in you a very capable person now and uh, someone that it, it is capable to push whatever it is thrown to them through and as well um, you are yet with these cards you are yet to discover how beneficial or how far this endeavor, um, enormous endeavor can go and how big uh, benefits, lucrivity or emotional benefits from it you can achieve. Simply the star card here points a, a long term goal that you are going to have looking for and uh, working for achieving as well and simply something that keeps up your um, 
your enthusiasm, whatever else it is falling into ruin, you will have this one thing that is going to keep you going. And uh, the last card that we do have for you, Sagittarius, is this is going to be uh, the final outcome here um, of the week. The final outcome of growth for the week, if you follow the guidance the Tsaro had for you. And that is the Nine of Wands. No. So the Nine of Wands first here points that uh, the whole matter ain't going to be resolved by the end of the week, okay? So you're not going to make your grant achievement, maybe a milestone uh, along the way, but not the grant achievement, which could have been guessed here by the appearance of the star card. But that's not the point. This, this card points that at the end of the week, you will already be able to get the hang of it. You will already be uh, overcome the first uh, initial resistance of this enormous endeavor. And this huge opportunity of uh, of growth, and at at the end of the week, you will start re realigning yourself, um, <clears throat> being more native with what uh, with what decisions or what kind of. Um, what kind of actions and strategies needs to be taken either toward one suitor, toward one project or toward one work as well, job. It depends on your situation. Very big patience uh, is going to kind of like... Uh, you will possess a very big patience. And that will be due to the fact that you will be very confident that you actually took any precautionary measure possible to completely exclude any kind of negative surprise or poignant surprise that can happen to you along the path to your long-term goal. And uh, basically, you at the end of the week, you will see that, at the, uh, that your initial thoughts that this is going to be a mess at the start of the week because this uh, th these are going to be your initial thoughts really that it's going to be a mess and probably you ain't going to be able to make it but what the hell why should i not why should i not try i mean you will see that there is nothing for you to lose and by the end of the week you will be much more confident in this endeavor and uh, much more playable as well you will be able to rearrange here and there you know the means and and, and as well the um the responsibilities the tasks and so on and so forth so you can establish even further control upon uh, upon your goal and uh the accompanied card, this is the Seven of Cups. We have active enemies here. So yeah, this card points that throughout the week, now there will be some uh, vague situations and there will be some, uh, how can I express it? Um, vague in a sense that you will not know how they're going to impact your thing, okay? And that's why it will be important to take those intelligent decisions and not to rush anything here, because at the end of the week, you you will already be able to deal with that vagueness. So kind of like you will sort your things out. So these, uh, these options available are no longer vague, but very, very grounded. And therefore, uh, you will completely extinguish the possibility of finding yourself disappointed of some mistakes that you can do along the way. So that being said, Sagittarius, this was your a weekly tarot reading for February 11th to February 17th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, once again, uh, for the month of February, I have reduced severely the prices of all of my services to make myself uh, more affordable for those who are truly in need especially financial one or truly are facing a wall, like I said, especially financial one. Uh, so if until uh, now you try to have a reading with me, but you found the current price is rather unaffordable for your budget, have a look now at my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video, and maybe you're going to find the new prices attractive. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.